Hey, Major Moxie here, heading up to Lake Tahoe, North Shore, over to Kings Beach. Have some family coming up into town. Decided it would be a great time to kayak to a secret hot springs at Lake Tahoe. I think it might be underwater, but let's go. Stunning emerald waters of Lake Tahoe have been drawing people into this area for years. We have mansions, we have cabins. You can hike, ski, swim, casinos, shop. Check out bears. Nevada, California border, heading over to Kings Beach. Meet up with my family, have some lunch. Can't wait. No more cash needed for envelopes. We have kiosks. Just put in your bank card and you can pay your $10 fee so you can access this beach. With so much of Lake Tahoe's beach shore being private, I'm going to have to access this hot springs that's actually in the lake, so it's not on private property, it's public access, but I'm going to have to kayak there. It's a little bit under a mile, so this should be fun. Great day for it. With this kayak built to withstand hitting rocks in a river, I think it can handle slightly sliding off my truck into the asphalt. Two miles worth of kayaking to do. I need breakfast at Champions. Breakfast burrito and a monster. Well, half a monster and I'll be ready to go. Mm. Crazy Tahoe story. Back when I was 20, I was hanging out here on the rocks, naked, soaking up the sun, not at the nudist beach, just on the rocks. Came back, went to work, and somehow I wasn't feeling very good. Got really sick, ended up in the ER with sun poisoning. I had explained to my mother how to pick me up and take me to the ER why I had no tan lines on my red lobster body while in the ER. Wear your sunscreen and your protective clothing. The sun up here in Tahoe is brutal. Explorers and developers have been coming to Tahoe and in 1869 the first hotel and five cottages were built on 63 acres bought by Billy Campbell and it's right on the edge of this lake and there's a hot springs and a mineral springs. Craziest things is that 30 years later, 1900, knowing the price of waterfront property in Tahoe, this 63 acres was purchased for $3,500 and it was renamed the Brockway Hot Springs. Teen, there was a casino and a dining room and plans for the future pool were already in effect. The original owners building the road from Truckee to this hot springs actually added to its popularity, the ease and the access to get here. By 1930, the swimming pool by the lake's edge was finished and guests were enjoying diving expeditions. And to heat that pool, they pipe in the hot springs water they found in the middle of the lake coming out of the rock. And still, to this day, the Brockaway Resort pumps hot water out of the cistern into their swimming pool up on the hill. Over the years, hot spring soakers have found this area. And the hot springs water running out of the catch-all 
has been caught into rock pools and people have been soaking. But this year, the lake is a record high and those pools are buried. There is no hot springs pools to soak in this year. You can see under the water, the circle of the rocks where a pool would be to collect some hot water, but it is under the lake right now. There are no soaking hot springs pools, so don't come over here and try to soak. There's nothing to soak in. But the water around this area is warmer. The baby fry fish are loving it. They're soaking up all the nice minerals in the warmer water than the lake. And they're kind of being protected over here. In 1961, there was a fire and it burnt the casino and dining room down and they officially closed in 66. And they did not reopen till the 1970s through the 80s when they rebuilt all the condos in here. All this resort is privately owned now. And to this day, the swimming pool is still heated with hot springs water sourced from Lake Tahoe. So as you can see, this hot springs is considered part of a public trust. It is in the lake, so we should have public access to it, but a private entity has cemented it off, collected water, and is bringing it to their pools. So that's causing concern and there's actually a petition going on right now. And sometimes there might be a question on the water level line. High water line is back at the shore. The lake has been so low that this cemented in area has been out in the air and leaking hot water down into an area that people have collected hot water and soak in. This year, the water level is actually back at the shoreline. So you can definitely see this hot springs is not on private property. This is public. You can see the pools made out of rocks by soakers. Now it's not pools, they're just circles under lakes. And that's what the resort's having problems with. They don't want any more soakers, so they would like to replace this cement structure with one that doesn't leak. So when the lake level's low enough, there won't be any water to collect to soak in. So the petition is to make sure that the enclosure that the resort is allowed to make has 50% leakage to soakers so they can have public access. So if you're interested in signing a petition that allows public hot springs water to stay slightly public while a resort private entity sucks some of it dry, so it's sort of a half win for both, go check out the petition and sign it. This is the first time in years the water level has been this high. So you can see what's public and what's private without even worrying about where the water line might have been. It's blatantly obvious right here. Even the old swimming pool from the Brockway Resort is actually in Lake Tahoe, which is public property. I'm thinking with all the fresh run off in the extra full lake. It's helped the clarity just a little bit. Made it all the way to the hot springs. It's below the lake. No soaking this year. I've got to get back to my family and go have some lunch. Come on, let's go. I can't believe what a 
beautiful day it is today. It's end of summer. I am so hot. I cannot wait to jump into this water. Some people say it's cold. Oh, this is nothing. I can't wait till the winter to do some cold plunging in this lake. Right now, I just need to cool off. I did have a little kayak cart with wheels. I never used it. I hated it. This is just as simple. No damage done. All good. Definitely worked up an appetite over here at King's Beat. And what they have are Tons of restaurants, local eateries, ice cream shops. My family's in town, and we're going to go enjoy this awesome grill right down the beach. No, it was a hailstorm. It was warm below, it was ice cold above, and it creates that hail. Just come to find out, my second number fan is Major Moxie's dad. David. Hey David, thanks for being my fan and watching my videos. I appreciate you and all your photograph and talking about moving the camera is so irritating. So I try to keep some of those videography skills while I'm making these videos. I think about you. So if the table's not ready, we'll just go hang out on the beach for a little bit, okay? Because I really want to sit outside. It's pretty. So I'm like this. Because we're walking. Hi there. Hi. Hi. How are you guys? Fine. Let me tell you what I had that I liked. Um, but I also I have real estate. I have real estate. Always a pleasure to go out to lunch with your parents, and they always treat you to tasty meals, ice cream, cocktails, and pick up the tab because they're your parents. And then you get to feel like a child even though you're over 50 years old. Love ya. Thanks, Patsy and David. Great lunch. Great company. Can't wait to do it again. See you again next year. Love ya.